Light falls, yet it has no weight. If this is your first time hearing this, you're probably skeptical. Weight is what makes things fall, isn't it? But alas, it's not that simple. First, just to head off the inevitable comments, light genuinely has no mass or weight. You might think E equals MC squared proves me wrong, but it doesn't. If you don't believe me, go watch my recent video on how we know that light doesn't have mass. Now then, how is it possible something without weight can fall? To answer that question, we have to go back over a hundred years to one of the most important scientific developments in history. In 1915, Albert Einstein published his theory of general relativity, a revolutionary idea that suggests gravity is not some mysterious force, but rather a geometric feature of space and time itself. He reasons that if mass, energy, momentum, pressure, and stress caused space-time to warp in just the right way, then he could describe gravity geometrically instead of with a Newtonian force. And his equations were spectacularly right. So then what about light? Well, light, like everything else in the universe, moves through space-time. And because gravity is a universal geometric feature of that space-time, this means that anything traveling through space-time, whether it has mass or not, will be affected by that curvature. And so light falls. Mass causes space-time to bend towards it, and so light, like everything else, must follow that curved downward trajectory. Now, most of the time, the light is traveling fast enough to just be bent towards the mass rather than falling onto it. But if the mass is big and dense enough, that light might just be forced in with no escape. And that's what we call a black hole.